thanks for the visit and thanks for the click. I appreciate your visit to this platform. I am Dalen Fee. Please make sure you subscribe. This is the only platform as a virtual partner in mathematics where every technicality, all the tricks that you need to pass your mathematics examination. So we want to make sure that we go through an exciting topic today for you to be able to use your calculator to solve virtually every question in mathematics. If you are ready, I am ready. Come on now, let's go. Thank you so much for the click. And today we are looking at how to use the calculator to find the mean, standard deviation, and the variance for raw data. And we can do this using the calculator. So let's go. We have a sample question. The mean, the max obtained by some students in an examination are as follows. 3, 9, 11, 28, 37, 20. Find the mean mark B, the standard deviation, and then the variance. And we should be able to use calculator to work this out. So if you're ready, let's go. Now, the for the step for raw data to find the mean, you first press the mode. And then you pick option three, that is statistics. So option three, and then you pick option one. Now this is for statistics and A plus B, X, this is for um, arithmetic um, progression. And then the option six is for geometric progression. But because this question is a statistical question, we will pick option one. So you pick option one. So the step is that you press mode, followed by the three and then one. Okay, so now we have a box that we need to enter the data. And to do that, you are going to enter these data one by one. And please note, after each entry, you have to click the equal sign for it to be stored, okay? So let's go. First, you press three, and then we have is equal to, the next number is nine you press is equal to, then 11, you press is equal to. Please, while doing that, be sure that the question that was given, you are entering them exactly the way it is. Because in examination, sometimes you allow pressure to catch up with you. So sometimes you end up entering wrong data. So the next number is 28. So we have two eights on the calculator then you enter is equal to next number 37 37 you still press is equal to and then the last number is 20 so 20 then you press the is equal to button now the data that you have entered has been stored on the calculator automatically okay so we are now going to move to a different function of the calculator we cannot do that as long as we have this on the screen but please do not press the on, don't do that. But instead, press the AC button. So with the AC, I still have my data intact. All right, then let's move on to the next one. That is step number four. You press shift, then you choose the first option and then the fourth button and then the second button. So we are going to have four in this step. One, you press shift. Then you press the number one. Then you are going to pick option four. Okay, so option four, this is about standard deviation. So we pick option four. And then you pick option two. Now you know the, this is the sign for the mean. Okay, the X bar, this is the sign for the mean. And then option three is a sign for standard deviation. So if you are looking for the mean, you pick option two. And if you are looking for standard deviation, you pick option three. Now we are dealing with the mean, so let's pick option two. Now you pick option two, then you press is equal to. That means the mean for this data is going to be 18. Once again, the data that you entered is still intact. So I can still press AC. I still have my data. The next thing I am looking for the standard deviation. So you go to the same process. Well, that is step four. You are repeating step four. Now you press shift and then you press the number one. Then you take option number four because we are dealing with standard deviation. So you take option four. 
and we are done with the mean so we are looking for the standard deviation so that is option three so you pick option number three and from there you press is equal to so having done that you have gotten your data intact now notice that the variance is the square of the standard deviation okay so now this is the standard deviation now to look for the variance all we need to do is to square this and you don't need to move your head that long all you need to do use the left arrow key okay uh -huh. so i have the left arrow key and then we are going to square the standard deviation so you add the square okay so you press the square then it's equal to that means the variance for um, the, the, um, that means the variance for this is going to be um, 36 points this so that is it and we are grateful okay so we want to continue from that so this is for raw data all right now let's work for the um, ungrouped data that's with the frequency table so with that one we have an, a question here that we are going to deal with so with that question it says a table below the table below gives the number of accidents had by 60 drivers find then we have the mean standard deviation and then the variance okay now you realize that when we started okay when we started let's go back so you can see what you're talking about we just we were just entering the we just entered um, the mood and then we pick three uh, and then we were picking that one option the first option and we have this but when it come to this you need the x coordinates and then you need the y coordinates so if you want to get the y coordinates you press shift okay and then you press the mood doing that then you actually move the arrow key so the step, first step press shift and then um, down arrow key okay so we are going to press the down arrow key after pressing it you see that there is standard deviation here um, we have statistics here that is that so we are picking option four so you pick option four the reason we are having this is that the question is do you want to add the frequency table to it we want to add the y coordinates so to do that we are pressing the one so you press one it means you are adding y to what we did earlier and if you press two it means you are taking the y off so that we can have only the x but here we want y to be there so you press one so by pressing option one it means we have now added y to it now let's add the data as we did so let's go so now that we have added y let's start so first you press mode so we have pressed mode second you take option three so you press three and then you press the number one so the number one is there now you can see that we have a frequency table because we were following this instruction you press shift and then you you press the um, down arrow key and then you take option four and then you press one that was the reason for bringing this table here now that we have this table now let's go and enter the data we have here <coughs> the first x is zero so we're under the x we have zero and then you end press is equal to the next x okay is one so you press one is equal to the next one is two so you press two is equal to any data you enter please remember to pre um, press the equal sign button the next one is three so three is equal to and then we come to four is equal to then we move to five is equal to then six is equal to and then the last one seven you press the equal sign now that we have entered all the values for the x we need to go up so that we can enter the y value just click the down arrow key it will take you up so the down arrow key we are up then you use the right arrow key so it will take us to the frequency side now we are going to enter the frequency values here one after the other each data you enter please remember to press the equal sign the first one is 15 so one five then you press is equal to the second one is nine you press is equal to the third one is um six so you press six 
then it's equal to then the next one we have um, the number 19 one nine then you press is equal to okay then the next one is four so that's when x is four y is five so under four we are going to press five so five is equal to and then when x is five y is three so you press three is equal to and then when x is six y is two so you press two is equal to then the last one we have seven is equal to now in order for us to be to assure ourselves that we have entered the right figures let's go back and check so x is zero y is 15 we have it there x is one y is nine we have it there x is two y is six we have it there x is um three y is 19 it is correct so down arrow key when x is four y is five that is correct when x is five the y is three so that one two is correct and when x is um six y is two we have it there correct and then finally when x is seven the y value is going to be one it is correct so we have now finished entering the data now we enter into step three step three says you press the ac button so this is the ac you press it remember the data you entered is still on the calculator and so there's no need for you to panic it is still there now let's go to step number four step four says that you have to press shift so let's press shift and then you press the number one now once again we are dealing with standard deviation that is um statistics so we are using the option four remember very well that these things are so important so please um, keep repeating this video until you are able to do it without coming back to it so that whenever you enter into examination your calculator will be your best companion so now that we have done we, we have to press option four because of the um, statistics that we are dealing with so you press the number four so number four once again we come to this part where the mean sign is here so if you are looking for mean you take option two and if you are looking for standard division, you pick option three. First one, we are looking for the mean. So let's pick option two. So option two is equal to, that means the mean for this distribution is 2.2. All right. Now we are now going to look for the standard division the same way. So now we are going to repeat step three. Okay, down. Okay, step three, down. Now you press AC. That is step three. And then you press shift followed by the one and then you pick option four and then you are looking for standard deviation so we are we are now going for option three so you pick the number three and then you press is equal to this is the standard deviation once again if you want to get the variance we know that the variance is the square of the standard deviation so you use the left arrow key okay and then you square the standard division so let's square it up and then you press is equal to and it means the um standard um, the variance for this distribution is this so this is how you can use your calculator to find the mean the standard division and then the variance i am darlin v and i encourage you to subscribe to this channel it's free so you can um, get updates whenever we upload new videos. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.